I'm Laura Vitale. Now on this episode of Laura in the Kitchen, I want to share with you my all-time favorite sandwich, favorite thing to eat in the entire world, which is a simple prosciutto and mozzarella sandwich with incredibly good ingredients. Now I'm showing you this because a few weeks ago, I answered a Twitter question on my show about what my favorite dish was and I said it was just a very simple prosciutto mozzarella sandwich and for some reason you guys have been so excited and you want to see it and even though it's very simple I'm going to share it with you because I absolutely love it and now what I'm really excited about is a few weeks ago I went to the fancy food show in Washington DC and they had so many great vendors of course incredible food to taste and I came up across a company called Leone Mozzarella and they import amazing products from Italy things like you know mozz all kinds of different kinds of mozzarella smoked mozzarella buffalo mozzarella which is my absolute favorite favorite thing in the world is mozza buffalo mozzarella there's there's no, nothing else chocolate doesn't even come close to buffalo mozzarella so they were kind enough to send me some delicious goodies and in this recipe I'm going to show you I'm going to be using it. I'm going to be using their mozzarella di bufala, di bufala in, my, in my sandwich because, I mean, I'm going to make a prosciutto mozzarella sandwich. I need ingredients, good ingredients, because there's only three of them. Bread, prosciutto, and mozzarella. So I'm using my favorite, my favorite ciabatta bread, nice and crusty that I'm going to toast up on the grill pan. Some good prosciutto di parma, thinly sliced. Very important. I do not like thick sliced prosciutto. And also, of course, the mozzarella di bufalo. It is so good and when you have good ingredients, I'm not going to be using any oil, I'm not going to be using any salt, I'm not going to be using any pepper because the mozzarella has got a ton of flavor, the prosciutto is salty and when the bread is nice and crispy, it makes like the perfect sandwich. Okay, so all I did is cut the bread in half just like so and I have a grill pan getting nice and hot so I'm just going to go over there now to toast this up. Now all I did to the bread obviously was grill it on both sides just for a few minutes until you get nice chart marks and it's nice and crispy oh yeah and I've also opened up my pouch of mozzarella and that comes in like a little um it's called a milk but it's not really milk and it's so important that you keep it in there to the last moment possible because it keeps it of course very very moist otherwise it dries out so now to making the sandwich couldn't be easier I'm going to just layer prosciutto see how thin that is that's what prosciutto should be I hate nothing more then when I go to the deli counter, and I of course always get prosciutto di parma, and they give me thick cut. I don't take it. I'm not kidding. I tell them, nope, that will not do, because I just don't like thick cut prosciutto. Because prosciutto is already really, really salty, and if you cut it thick, then it makes it like you can't even eat it. You can't really enjoy it. I don't like that. I'm just going to layer this on like so. You can do as much or as little as you want. It's totally up to you. But this, I think, is going to be two layers. It's going to be plenty because I really kind of want the mozzarella to be the show, the star of the show anyway. I'm just going to set this here so I can cut my mozzarella. Oh, I can't wait to eat this. Look at that. It's so good. It needs nothing. No salt, no oil, absolutely nothing. Just going to layer this on like so. Now this is perfect just like so. It needs nothing else. Like I said, but I just want to drizzle a touch of olive oil, not on the mozzarella, on the bread. It just keeps it moist. Just a touch like so. And I like a little bit of pepper, so I'll just do... That's it. Done. No salt. A treat for the cook. Okay. Mm. Okay. Look at that. Oh, take a serrated knife, cut this baby right in half, look at that, huh, is that not a beautiful sight, I think so, when I was a child, and I lived in Italy, we had like a school place when I was I think 11, and we had to stay after school, this is what Everyone else would have like a little sandwich or a little something to hold them over till they went home. My mother would pack me something like this, plus like a side of pasta and then fruit and then a dessert and I had like a five course meal. It was ridiculous. Mm. So, it's as simple as that. I showed you guys my absolute favorite sandwich in the world. You guys wanted to see it and now here it is. It's 
kind of silly to say to go to my website to get this recipe because it's really not a recipe. It's completely up to you how much prosciutto you want to use, how much mozzarella you want to use. But the point of this video is that you must use exceptionally good ingredients to get a sandwich this good. That's it. I hope you've enjoyed spending time with me and I'll see you next time. Bye-bye.